back. <laughs> Welcome back, viewers. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, the, the I adventures believe, of Artie and Evan. The ninth episode of Wind Waker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, and to those just tuning in, my name is Evan. This is Artie. What's up? <laughs> and we are the Twin Chickens. What is good? Hope you're having a fabulous day. What and, is good, uh, my friends? Dude, wow. tell me, I want to know about your cheese addiction. Tell me something interesting <laughs> that I don't already know about you. Oh, dude. Okay, so you already know that I can't tie my shoes, right? <laughs> are you, you, you weren't being serious. I was being, being completely serious before. Like, <laughs> no. I've told you so many times I can't tie my shoes, but for shizzle? <laughs> for shizzle, dude, I, I can't. I tried I so I, hard. I don't. I can't do it. I do the double I knot. I don't believe you. I do the butterfly. I do the double knot. Uh, bunny. I do the bunny ears. Nothing, man. I I can't do it. It just ends in misery for everybody <laughs> that watches me do it. Like I, 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 like I said last time I went on a date um, uh, with this last girl, she was just like, wow. Like I, I had to stop and like, hey, I'm sorry to do this, but like, I need to tie my shoes real quick, and uh, I'm I'm kind of embarrassed. And she's like. No worries. I'll tie him for you someday. And I'm like, oh, that's really nice. But then it also just makes me seem very incompetent. <laughs> I can't do a basic thing like tie my shoes. However, this is one of my pickup lines. Like, okay, I may not be able to tie shoes, but I can probably dry you. Uh, like one of my French ladies. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's like, you know, yes. there's there's also a give and take. Uh, so if the girl says it's true, the pirates won't be leaving until tomorrow morning. We must leave for Jubin and yeah. You must get the pearl. Uh, what about for you? So now I know about your blood pressure, so... Ooh, all right, mm, all right. Secret about me. I, uh... I'm trying to think. Oh, I loved... I guess you may have already known this, but... Uh, I used to do magic as a kid. I like... Or not, like, not magic of the gathering, but, like, magic tricks. I liked doing, um... I liked performing and putting on shows for my family where I'd have... Um, all these little gimmicks and, oh, uh... Def I know, card I tricks know about and, that. uh... Hat tricks and other... There other, uh, other, like, pull the pull the thing out of the hat or box, and, uh, I'm trying to think of other random tricks I did, but I was, I was pretty into that. That was a lot of fun. Um, did you ever do magic tricks? Yeah, well, okay, funny enough, I, um, I, uh, I actually, my, one of my best friends back in high school, uh, we would actually draw, or what's it called, um, uh, he would actually teach me this, uh, this magic trick called this, that, or other. Uh, if you guys know it, it's pretty sweet. Uh, basically, he grabs a deck of cards, and in the deck of cards, he he makes it so that uh, he tells a story through the deck of cards. Okay. Uh, but on the cards, uh, he has it set as this, that, or other. Uh, so as he tells the story, he's like, so this is what happened one day, and that happened as well. And then he brings out the other card, and as he's doing it, you know, he's slightly shuffling them somehow, so it looks like, um, how is it possible that he's... That like these these things are coming out uh, in this order, uh, and yeah. he's telling a story with him because he's just pulling them out, and it's like, how are you telling this story? It's insane. Uh, so yeah, um, as far as that goes, I was able to do. Uh, I wanted to learn that one, but I never learned it. Uh, I did learn some other stuff like um, how to um, how to flip a card with my hand, how to roll quarters, how how to roll. A how to roll a quarter? I can't even talk. Oh, like that. a quarter over your knuckles yeah. and have it uh, have it bounce between your fingers. Yeah, because I was inspired by uh, Jack Sparrow. Oh, doing that, uh, yeah, from, that's awesome. You learned how to do that from the best pirate movie ever. That's um, sweet. Well, yeah, I, I learned that it's 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 just a lot of repetitive things. Uh, I tried learning the one where you can shoot a card up in the air and catch it. Um, oh, the three card Monty trick. Uh, I actually I still have it on it's it's on my YouTube playlist. <laughs> It's called the three card Monty, where you can kind of it's the version of this, that, or other, where you you're able to pull out cards left and right, you know, like um, uh, very subtly, like doing magic tricks with cards. Uh, one thing that did inspire me back in the day was there was this funny parody of David Blaine. <laughs> uh, if you don't know who David Blaine is, he was this uh, he's a street musician ma magician that like uh, would do tricks for people and they would lose their freaking minds. Uh, basically. Back in the day, being a, being a magician just meant like you know, you would just harass people on the streets and then uh, get a lot of chicks. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. And um, I I don't know. I just thought that was a cool way not to get chicks, but just like a cool way to like maybe this will make me cool, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So um. Or something fun or cool to to do. Yeah, I mean, cool is really stretching it, but uh. 
<laughs> I mean, if you can do magic tricks, you know, then that's just cool. But and then I realized what magic tricks actually were, uh, and it's like I, I equate the magic trick to drawing, as in like as you're drawing, you're the illusionist. You yeah. are the um, uh, as you draw, you want to try to convince someone that what you're drawing is what they're seeing. For example, if you're drawing an apple, um, thinking thinking of the properties of an apple, you know you want to be able to convey those things uh, um, to your drawing. So if you're drawing the apple, you know how does it look like? It's a round, whatever, and that's how you become. You are the illusionist of of uh, setting the scene, as it were. Um, so I, I went off a little off ta uh, a little off tangent, but the main thing is that like um, that I would equate drawing as like a, the magic trick as it were. Oh my god! <laughs> it was attacking you just as you pulled it out. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. I wonder if the animation's still gonna happen where I actually fly off the boat or whatever. <laughs> I love <laughs> literally that. right there. Oh, it wasn't even worth it. I maxed out. Well, I guess it didn't. Ah! <laughs> that was That's... that was close. Um, I can't wait to get the arrows to actually, like, start shooting stuff. Um, do you see the fish, man? I don't see the freaking fish. Oh, we do have, uh, bombs. Sweet. Bombs. Is there, um, I know in the Link to the Past, when we did that playthrough, we, uh, we saw Mario's face, or I guess, uh, maybe Link's uncle or something, you know, random yeah, people in the houses. Like but are there other references that you've seen in other Link games or Mario games that refer to other Nintendo franchises? Uh, they do that a lot in uh, in Legend of Zelda for sure. Uh, like in the Link's Awakening in front of, that came out on the Switch, uh, Meryl's father is definitely definitely has to be Mario. Like I I can't see it any other. Oh, way. just like the Lon Lon Ranch where the the skinny guy is like Luigi, pretty, or like kind of yeah. resembles Luigi in the. Uh, Wait, Mer the yeah, uh, I think the, her the name girl, is the girls. I think her name is Meryl or Meryl. I thought it was something um, like that or I don't think it's Meryl. It's uh, gotta be something like that, something crazy like that. But uh, you're, you actually now that you now that you're saying that, I think it is it is something different. Anyway, that that chick. Um, ah, not. Uh, she definitely I can't has, think of her name. She, Does anybody in the Twitch chat remember what uh, what the Lon Lon Ranch girl's name is? Uh, watch it be some like. It's so. It's gonna be so obvious. It's like obviously we know. Uh, how can I forget? But anyway, <laughs> um, so there is that, right? So, um, what else did they have? They had the Chomp Chomps in Link's Awakening, the original and the, the remake. Okay, yeah. Uh, which was really cool. In this one, I don't think there is, um, anything that this is full on Zelda here. Like I don't see anything that resembles like uh, that has any Mario stuff in it, any Mario references. Uh, I mean there might be. I just I can't think of any. Uh, off the top of my head, from what I remember, it's it. This game is full on Zelda. Like, what you see is all Zelda tropes, you know. Yeah. Uh, which is Malin. You know, Malin, there you go. I wouldn't have it any uh, other maybe way. Maybe that maybe it's not pronounced like that, but. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. You know, I was just curious because uh, maybe there'd be another painting or this or that, but. Um. So far, a, I haven't seen any. It'd be cool to see, kind um, of. A, although it would would uh, stray away from the illusion of kind of really immersing the story, but... Um, I mean, uh, it's still really cool to see those things, but maybe when we go out to other islands, we might be, uh, we can keep a lookout and see what happens. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't remember seeing uh, any of that stuff. Um, the shark gone? Thank God. That shark could follow us for days. Uh, well, anyway. Now, this is kind of jumping topics, but yeah. how do you think... Um, commu if uh, communication with animals would... Uh, Oh, I think there would be chaos. How do you think that would... If uh, if one day we just woke up and we could understand everything... That sounds like a good movie plot. <laughs> that, uh... I think they already made a movie about that, actually. Really? What, uh, uh... What would it be called? I think Ricky Gervais was in it? I don't know. I feel like someone... I feel like there's already been a Hollywood movie about that where someone... Oh, so stupid. I mean, it's like Doolittle. Doctor Do Yeah, I was gonna. Oh that's, my god. That's what I. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I mean. Uh, but I know that there's a, a in a different larger one. world contrast where like everybody can hear. It's not just one person, but everybody understands. I think our fundamental industry of fast food would definitely change completely. Like we would go, we would either be vegans, and you know, two thirds of our population would not be overweight, and you know, we would be different you know we would have a different mindset in the 
philosophy in mind than what we have now. A more, um, you living for the fullest, as it were. As in, like, dying every moment, uh, going out to eat fast food and just, like, feeling your gut, you know. I think dying. a lot of people would be questioning, uh, the morality of, like, owning pets, I think. Yeah. Because, uh, if you started speaking with your own animal, you'd, you'd treat them more of an equal rather than, uh, kind of a dominating, um, ownership type thing. I think yeah. that's would be a really interesting concept to see played out in a I guess in a movie maybe not necessarily reality would be could be very like you were saying chaotic and uh, I think it would unruly, be insane but, because you would I but think it's something you would, that we can't imagine so like it could be something for the for the greater good you know like um, whatever wars that happen sometimes might be for the greater good but uh, I think there might there definitely would be animal wars for sure like maybe a, a tribe uh, would uh you know, would would make a tribe of lions or whatever that respected each other. And, uh, you know, they might be, like, uh, very aggressive and start fighting with, like, other tribe members, you know, that uh, maybe seagulls, you know. There's, like, we just want to live free. But, like, I think that dichotomy of, like, there's this food chain that is always present uh, might be yeah, uh, even more chaotic, I think, rather than just having natural selection play its course. So, yeah, very interesting topic. Uh, very crazy. Um, so we uh, now back to the story of Link. We got a new. Uh, we got the beetle chart. We got some new supplies available. Yeah, so the beetle beetles finally selling bombs, which is awesome. Instead of selling bait, uh, okay. we're able to do that. Find the nuts, crest, and turn to me, Orca. Okay, so Orca is just uh, he's the guy that we're training right here. Uh, let's go to talk to him. Maybe we can start doing the the sword challenge where you got to hit him like a hundred times, and then he'll give you like the a spin attack. Oh, what's up? Look at me, push, push and push and push. I'm gonna hit my you know, way. Twenty times a day, you can get this rock solid abs just like me. Yo, deadass, what's going on? Don't tell me, Meryl. You she forgot got... about your <sighs> sister. How thoughtless of you! This son has You're seen a lot of times. You're so useless. Oh, dude, I guess ever since I left, the island has been destroyed. You know, I've always been curious. How does Link live his life on the island before the game starts? That is an interesting thing. You know, like, what has his life been before his I feel calling? like it would be kind of a normal kid's thing where you just kind of do whatever, go play, but then you have all these chores that your parents or grandparents make you do. Yeah. And uh, go run around adventuring. Like, um, would it be a meta thing where, you know how uh, we we were talking about a couple episodes ago about doing really nerdy stuff and dressing up and taking our swords out and, uh, like, doing whatever years ago when we were... Um, maybe Link would do the same thing in his own uh, in his own reality. Yeah. With uh, with the spare time he has before this adventure plays out, but it really makes him kind of grow up or uh, takes a maturity. Be like, oh, oh my si dang it, my sister's gone, but you know, there's an adult to go do that. Should, what? Shouldn't there be like uh, more responsible people to go chase after her? Ow. <laughs> Why is it Mia, yeah. an eight year old kid or whatever? <laughs> a kid that barely has a. Barely has any hair on his chest. I love how he is definitely. I mean, I just love Toon Link so much, you know. Um, funny enough, Zelda tropes. I always thought Ocarina of Time was the Zelda thing, but every Zelda game has its own formula to it, you know. There are definitely things that like go to this dungeon, do this and that. Uh, but I thought like the main every Zelda game had like. Okay, you go to the te you go to the the Temple of Time, and then you become Big Link. Oh my God, I just I need to do this off screen so that I can actually like concentrate. Um, yeah. But um, oh, it's it's just better to start over, I think. Um, I'm gonna do this one more time, and if I can't do it, then I can't do it. Uh, I'll do it off screen. Um, but like I said, uh. I always thought the standard was that, like, Link would go to the temple as young Link and then emerge as big Link. I always thought that was the standard, but lo and behold, every game has, like, its own thing. Like, there's different Link's, different generations of Link throughout the years. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is really interesting, you know. I like how they picked up with this, uh, with Toon Link here. I, I just love his design and overall his, uh, his whole charisma. Keep thrusting, Link. Anyway, um, we kind of talked about, uh, Zelda games here, but... What has been your favorite one so far? I mean, we played... Uh, of Zelda games? Yeah, we on the show, we definitely played... 
We did Wind Waker. We did um, uh, Link to the Past. Uh, we did the uh, Twilight Princess and uh, Link's Awakening. I'd, uh, I'd, I still have to say the first and second Legend of Zelda on the NES the original? Uh, systems. Uh, mostly for the but why those ones for the nostalgia of it. Well, I, I know them so well. I can I can beat them um, Or I have like several times um, but then also just they were uh, There I have fond memories of them and playing them and uh, um, Going through mapping things out and uh, the frustrations of kind of uh, refiguring things out and where where everything is with my dad right and so there, there's more of a uh, more of that. Uh, that but would aspect. you say they're they're really well constructed, as other Zelda games? Uh yeah. I mean, it's also like you said, each Zelda game has their own thing, and it's and it's interesting to see the uh, maybe not dualities is the right word, but the the evolution of things, because uh, perspective uh, taken in in place. There's a uh, graphical enhancements, but because it's a uh, a graphical change doesn't mean it's necessarily better. Like, um, you're still going around, uh, going to your dungeons, and you have to think outside the box and go explore. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're their own, uh, I personally like old retro, like, 8-bit style games anyways. Um, oh, so I did that's, it. that's my pro own right, personal, just, uh, just personal interest it. in things. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, What man. are you supposed to do here, though? Just hit him a hundred times. Okay, nice. Oh, you are no longer a page. You are a knight. Take this with you. Ah, oh, you suck. Uh, I thought I gave you the ultimate spin attack. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, my so useless. Yeah, dude. Uh, I just love this game so much. Like I said, this this one is just one of my favorites. If not, if if this one isn't my favorite, then it's most likely Breath of the Wild. They just they took what Zelda was and just you know, went all out with it. I I don't know. I think that game's just amazing. Like, all of... They took a Zelda game and not made it a Zelda game, you know? They made it very open world, very... They just took everything to the next level, man. It's like It, it felt like a natural evolution. So, yeah. I don't know. Very interesting things. Anyway, Grandma! How you been? Oh! Deadass. Don't leave me I'm gonna guilt oh. trip you until you stay. All alone. I'll make you soup. forever alone. You're not gonna have your grandma anymore. Should Is we, that what you want? Should we revive her? <laughs> should, should we do the thing? This might be too early, but do you th maybe it'll work. Let's see. What? Because <laughs> it revives her. Because now she can make the soup. Because <laughs> she so in this thing you don't know that she's ill. You think that she's like bedridden, but no, she's she's actually she was dying. She's like you're back. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> if you didn't do anything, would she have passed out? She would have just stayed there for the entire rest of the game. Wow. But now we actually get one of the best items in the game. Nice, my sweet child. Oh, that's sweet right. Child, I was gonna make you the soup, but I uh, end up passing out. Sweet child. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, if I even considered, I must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Well, you know, it, it just happens. Oh, she gave me a bottle. Sweet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And she gave me the elixir soup. You got an elixir soup. Uh, wait, did she give me another bottle or just no? She gave me the same freaking bottle. Uh, she just put the soup in the same bottle. I thought she gave me another bottle, but I guess not. Anyway, she just replaced your bottle with soup. Oh, or well, put the soup in the bottle. Well, uh, put thank the soup in the bottle. If you run out, I can always make you more any time. Okay. Oh well, thank you, Grandma. This is better than Lon Lon milk, so even better. But nice. don't act, don't do anything reckless. All right. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna go off and save the world. So uh, see you later. Bye. Um, that was awesome. I think it'd be <laughs> super cool. Like on the topic of uh, of Legend of Zelda. I mean. I like the old retro games, but they're all like, they're all, each their own. They're, like, they're all very, kinda, very cool. Exactly. I love the Legend of Zelda lore. It's just like even Twilight Princess is like, yeah. It's a little. I like the dark atmosphere of it, mm -hmm. and I actually that uh, that one might be my third favorite one. But I really like what they did with with that one as well. Skyward Sword. Mm -hmm. They introduced this uh, mechanic of like nunchucks or whatever, mm -hmm. and that was, I mean, but it's, it's that so one's cool okay. to see there. It's like. Uh, 
I don't think it's bad or anything. I think it's like it's not my favorite one, you know. Yeah, but each lore is like really fascinating that they they put thought into it. You know, it might not be the, oh, the greatest, but it's super cool to just see the the ideas played out and like of course delved into. I'd say Majora's Mask is super cool with their. Uh, that's the their, one Zelda their game time I, frame. That's the one game Zelda game I didn't play. Really? I played all of them except for that one. Oh, actually, I wouldn't even say all of them. I played the. Um, I haven't played the the original two that you played, mm-hmm. um, and or uh, Majora's Mask. Those are okay. the only ones. No. Oh no! I meant to use the bombs. <laughs> hey, I'm about to die. Why don't yeah. I just have soup? I just meant to just press the A button. Oh, well, we just gotta. Oh, this is a little different. I have to aim with the other joystick instead. This is gonna. Anyway, I just need to get closer. So uh, the the whole thing of this is I just gotta break this wall before I uh, I go inside the whirlpool. Um, it's gonna lag a little bit here because I'm doing when when you ever whenever you do like significant damage like this it'll lag a little bit, but uh, we know that uh, we're getting close. I should be able to break this here before I go too far. Just nice. I did it. Oh. They I think uh, either this dude put it out here so that like. No one could get in. It's like a, you know, one of these little secrets. Like, yeah, uh, if you go here, you might die. <laughs> but now that we have the bombs, we're able to go here and we meet up with Juba Juba. It'd be super cool if uh, I, I could almost envision in the next few years when uh, Nintendo <laughs> comes out with another uh, Zelda series. Well, they're coming out they with uh, Age of Calamity, which is the prequel to Breath of the Wild. But they're also coming out with Breath of the Wild. Two. I was gonna say, uh, to, th- s- to see it evolve into VR, Legend of Zelda, where you oh are God. in. Like if they did a, you know, the Skyrim VR. Mm-hmm. If they did that, but like yeah. as you know, as in that kind of style. I'm sure people have done Skyrim overhaul mods of uh, Legend of Zelda. Oh, that sounds but, awesome, actually. But it would be super cool to just see a <laughs> Nintendo product of like official release VR. Uh, Legend of Zelda, mm-hmm. and in, it'd be super cool if they let you do that, like on all the series. Like, hey, they re they remaster uh, like this game, you know, Wind Waker. If they did it with Breath of the it. Wild, whole oh, people would lose their freaking minds. That's what I'm the saying. The whole game, dude. like first person view. Yeah. Oh my god, I would lose my freaking mind with that. <laughs> anyway, he just gives us the pearl because he just has it. This is kind of epic because. It's almost like, oh, I didn't have to do a dungeon for this? Awesome! <laughs> well, now we got it. So, um, was kind enough to give you the jewel. A treasure of one of the goddesses. Sweet. I love how he's just this enormous freaking thing. He's like, all right, thanks for the pearl, man. See you later. Bye. Um, oh, um, by the way, do you know where the nearest IHOP is? I haven't eaten in 4,000 years. Uh, so that full rain. I just, I just, I yeah, just take a ride and... Uh, Go past, uh... I forgot my glaucoma medicine. Can you get me some? Oh, nope. I believe I have. Oh, here we go. Later! It just sends you a wave that, (laughs) like, capsizes the boat and you just drown right there. Oh, awesome. (laughs) And he takes takes the pearl back and gets to keep all your... all your jewels and rupees. That'd be sick. Are you Uh, ready, deadass? So, supposedly, I broke Ganon's, uh... Ganon's little curse thing. I have marked the place on your map with the cheat chart. Uh, uh, once we have, uh, once you have placed all each of the pearls in the location, you will be provided grounds of your courage and will become apparent. So clearly, the search for Juban uh, has shown that Ganon has begun to make his efforts to block our path forward. However, it is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any that you have faced thus far. Uh, you should finish any business that you have on Outside Island before we set part. Uh, well, I just. Uh, you know, woke up my grandmother. Should I get more soup? Nah, let's just get out of here. <laughs> uh, do I need more? Mm. I mean, it's fresh on the stove. Are you sure you don't want some? Ah, I think I'm good. I do need to get some bottles later, so we will do that later. For now, uh, let's just keep going on to these three islands so we can set the pearls. And when we set the pearls on there, they will actually awaken the um, the Wait. place of the, the slumber of the Master Sword, I believe. The Slumber Sword of the Master? The Slumber Master of the Swords. Dude. 
So, uh, that's pretty cool to see that they, uh, like the one, I mean, they, they have pretty, uh, pretty consistent things through the, throughout the Zelda series, but yeah. the Master Sword is always there. Yeah. And I like in this one, this one, it didn't hit me until later that it's like, oh, wow, this actually feels like a sea adventure. Like you're able, like, obviously you have your treasure maps and you have all of this and that. Now, did you but... ever play the DS ones too? No, uh, like, I uh, I never Phantom played Hourglass, Spirit Tracks. Those I've only had to play uh, those two because I think those two are and after even the Game this Boy one. Ones too. I think they're after this one. Uh, no, I I played the majority. Like I've even played the I played the one that like no one's played, which is the Legend of Zelda Four Swords on the GameCube. Oh yeah, which is like in the style of um, Link to the Past, but it has like it it has an overview world, but it's. It's such a fleshed out concept. It's I I really love that game. I oh, wish yeah. we could play that game on this because that's a you just can't buy it doesn't exist anymore. There's no way you can get it. Uh, maybe if Nintendo ever came out with like a Legend Legend of Zelda uh, All Stars pack or whatever, where it has like three awesome Zelda games all in one, whew, amazing. Yeah. Then for sure. But like, that's one of the games that I wish I can go back and play. But unfortunately, you just you just can't. Um, anyway. Apart from that, um, what were we just talking about? I was just talking about, uh, oh, the handheld ones? No. Um, I played, what was the Zelda one I, I wanted to play? I haven't played any of the Link's Awakenings or Oracle of Seasons, which I really wanted to because I love that art style. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, Oracle of Seasons. I really wanted to play those ones. Oh, my God. Look at all of these treasure chests, man. You see all this? Yeah. Should we skip? Can you save them for later so that... Uh... Yeah, I mean, like... What I would like to do is find this... Upgrade the wallet. <laughs> I want to find this stupid fish. Here. Let's get off here for a second. Uh, there's, I think there's one thing we can do here. Uh, let's go... Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh. Ba -da -ba -ba. Look at this guy. the little... Uh, I think we have to bring it water from little the little tree, tree man. Look at this guy. Saltman. Uh, mm, it's been a while. How you been? Great day, tree. Look at this disgusting... Useless tree. <laughs> and look at you. It's You're even more useless. It's horrible. Bring some fucking water. Disgusting. <laughs> uh, my fellow Koroks have planted the withering tree as well. Oh, man. Uh, Why don't you go find some water and bring it back? <laughs> Can you do that, please? Because, you know, I can't get there. I'm stuck on this island forever and I don't know how to do that. Anyway, uh, maybe if you could sprinkle the water from the forest haven. Um... On the tree, maybe it'll, it'll something will happen. Um, could you go and do that? Um, maybe, man. We'll we'll see. We'll see if I have time. <laughs> this tree is dying. <laughs> cool. It's an, it's trying to tell you. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> I need what? <laughs> Isaac, please. I need what? <laughs> Let's see. Maybe we can get a little upgrade here because I know. Fire. What's this cult fire doing here? Uh, well, it's just one of these things, you know. We got a little Zelda puzzle. Let's see if we can... Did we do it? Looks oh. like you chopped down a tree. <laughs> it looks as if I have. I think... Well, looks like we, uh... Oh, it's already time? We're running out of time. Oh. Because I think... Oh, I gotta hit it with ice arrows. There's... I think there's three little challenges I have to do here, so... I hit the switch. And then I gotta hit that thing with ice arrows, and then it, and then it does it. Awesome. Um, but for now, we did a lot, man. Looks like a, that's uh. We had a great time. All the time we got for now, but uh, we will see you guys in the next episode of ah! the Twin Chickens. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Adios. Bye. Bye.